It's a pleasure, pleasure to be here at this celebration of healthy living and healthy lifestyles. There's nothing like taking care of your body because when you take care of your body, you take care of your mind, huh? When you take care of your mind, you know how to act, huh? That's what my mama used to say, huh? We know how to act in this world. I was about nine when I started skating. I just kept with it, but I just loved it. Skateboarding is like, like it helps take away negative feelings and thoughts. I would always just emphasize and suggest that we always think about what we're doing in terms of our health, the air we breathe, the water that we drink, and the food that we consume. Cooking at home with your family or cooking for yourself is one of those things that it's strange to think, but it's almost a dying art. People don't cook as much anymore. When they don't work that into their lives on a regular basis with a continuous kitchen of, okay, I'll spend three hours cooking on Saturday so that I have food for the week. If they don't work that time in, then it isn't a reality for them. And then there's always the issue, a lot of times um, we have people who are ill and they come to us for help and we'll help anyone. And, uh, but, but I always feel like, wow, primary prevention, you know, getting to that person before they're ill so that they get into their life, they're cooking on a regular basis is the most important thing. How much, how much, uh, you know, like water per bean can you smoke? I've got, I think that. You know, in doing this project um, and learning about the diabetes um, I was kind of surprised to know that the Tonopanation, the Tonopanation, or Tonopanation, Indian Reservation here in town, um, that they have like the highest concentration of diabetes in the world. Diabetes education in Indian schools. We um, this is the curriculum that we use, and it, it's a curriculum from grades uh, K to 12. And um, we use the series. Uh, it, it, uh, in this curriculum, it actually has these series of um, the eyes of the through eagle. the eyes of the eagle, where we use and uh, as part of the curriculum. And this is some of the. Just the right amount of fire to finish off the wild fish and dry these little balls of fire or something. We just came to see because they told us that we were in the exhibit here. And so that's what we we're observing in the Wanatoka. <laughs> it was really informational. I love the thing that used to catch my eye around here is the games that they used to play. And some of the, like when I was over there standing, I can understand some of the words. I got inspired by my grandpa. He's a farmer and it was pretty interesting because I just this summer, I turned, I became the fourth generation of my grandpa in farming. So it's getting me more inspired to learn about farming than it is for anything else. But mostly it's just traditions. So um, we're going to sing a couple more songs. We come out, dance with the girls. We need a, a, a gentleman to come and, and lead the girls. And we want to just see how big of a circle we can get. And we'll just uh, dance until we uh, we finish this last couple of songs, all right? Well, thank you again, once again. Thank you, we're honored to be here. Um, not a tradition of singers and dancers. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for making this event, you know, successful and everybody that came out and participated. We ask that the Creator bless everyone and take you home safely and hopefully bring you back again next year to make this event bigger and, and a little bit more better. Nada más